While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to... Wait, what was Our Lady doing outside? <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. We are all very familiar with the episode in today's Gospel, the Gospel for Tuesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time, in which someone interrupts our Lord to tell him that his mother and brothers were standing outside waiting to speak with him. And invariably, our attention is always drawn to what our Lord says in response. Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. And as important as these words are, have you ever stopped to wonder why the Blessed Virgin Mary was outside in the first place? Being the mother of a rabunia, teacher, it would seem only fit that she be seated in the front row or with the other woman as was the custom of the time. So why was she outside? What was she doing? what she always does, bringing others to Christ, preparing those souls to encounter her son. How many miracles, cures, and even resurrections performed by our Lord were carefully prepared for in advance by Our Lady. Let's imagine a scene, and I say imagine because there's no biblical proof to back this up, but let's imagine this scene in the Gospels where four men carrying a stretcher with a paralytic come to the house where our Lord is preaching. They have no way of getting closer, no way of getting our Lord's attention. We can imagine them getting squished and crushed by the crowd who all want to get a closer look at Jesus. And finally, after getting pushed and shoved around, there seems to be like no other option than to withdraw for their own safety and to protect the man they're carrying. So let's imagine that they're about to leave when suddenly Our Lady comes up to them with a solution. Why don't they climb up on the roof, which was flat and served as a kind of terrace, and lower the man through the ceiling? A simple yet ingenious solution. And so following her advice, they break through the ceiling, which was probably made of a thatch of some kind, and let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. What does it say next in the gospel? When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Child, your, your sins are forgiven. It makes you think, when Jesus saw their faith, whose faith was he actually referring to? Could it be the faith of Our Lady, who ever so discreet and unpretentious was the mastermind behind the whole operation? As I said, there's absolutely no proof of this in the Bible, but it's perfectly plausible. As one author wrote, how many paralytics were spiritually healed by her before the God-man physically healed them? How many blind people had the courage to turn to the incarnate word, to ask him to restore their sight because Mary had restored their faith beforehand? Thus, where our Lord Jesus Christ would act, the maternal hand of Our Lady was always present in a subtle and almost imperceptible way. Let's ask her then to prepare our hearts and souls so we may do the will of our Heavenly Father and earn the privilege of being regarded by our Lord as His brother and sister and mother. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.